Jerry at Fair Oaks. Jurgen and Warren, right over here now. Now, men, we'll try that first hurdle. It's not high and your mounts won't shy it. And see that you don't shy it. Oh, how does Splendor handle, Warren? Very good, sir. He takes his commands mighty fine. Well, he's been trained in the circus for jumping, so I don't think you'll have any trouble with him. Oh, sir, he's a good horse. Very handy, sir. All right. Now then, remember to stay upright in the saddle until you're three lengths from the hurdle, at which time you will lower the hands and give free rein. And at the same time, lean forward as far as possible. Now, I realize all of you men have made jumps before, and I'm not telling you how to make them. What I'm stressing is the importance of making each move in unison. Oh, and one thing more. If your mount's stride isn't right and you can't correct it in time, don't take any chances. Pull him up and let the others go. Now, is that clear? Yes, sir. All right. Now, I'll ride over to the hurdle and give you the signal to go. All ready? Go. Very good. Hold it there. Well, that was a very nice break. And good clearance, too. Oh, uh, you might try leaning forward more, Dugan. My foot nearly slipped out of the stirrup just before we got to the hurdle, sir. Well, uh, watch it the next time. Yes, sir. And you can give your mouth a little more rain on the jump, Morrison. And as soon as you land and go into your first stride, regain your upright position. Yes, sir. I was just a little off balance. Well, a clean jump isn't enough. Every movement pertaining to the jump is counted for or against you by the judges. Now... Any questions now? Yes, sir, if you please, sir. Uh, what is it, Warren? Well, I'd like to ride with a little shorter stirrup if I could, sir. I think I could get better balance on the jumps. Well, we'll check all that at first drill practice. Now, anything else? Did you notice if I gave enough rain on the jump? Oh, yes, that was much better, Morrison. Oh, but watch your elbows for appearance sake. You all understand why we have to give plenty of rain in the jump now, don't you? The horse needs it. That's right. In landing, the horse has to have freedom of neck and head. And under no circumstances should he feel the bit until he has landed and started in the stride again. Now, if there are no more questions, we'll check in. All right. Back to the stable. Too bad, Dugan, but I told you you wouldn't get to ride Splendor. Well, you didn't get to ride him. Hey, cut out the chatter up there. You're still in attention. Now, dismount. Lead your horses into their respective stalls. Oh. You seem to get along very well with Splendor, Warren. Yes, sir. He's as nice a horse as I've ever rode. I think he and I will learn to understand each other. I hope Sir Dugan doesn't feel too badly about my getting to ride Splendor. Oh, he'll understand. After all, it's for the good of the team. Well, that's the way I'd feel about it. Yeah, and he'll feel that way, too. This Splendor stall here, isn't it? That's right. Oh, your stall is right there, Morrison. Yes, sir. Whoa, come on, boy. And that's right for you there, Dugan. All right, unsaddle, men. You're at ease now. You got a nice horse there, Red. How are you making out here, Dugan? All right, sir. You understand, when I picked Warren to ride Splendor, I, I did it for the good of the team. Now, there were no personal feelings that entered into my selection. Yes, sir, I know that. I know how you feel about Splendor, Dugan, and I can't say that I blame you. But right now, my every thought is to get a team together that will beat Edson. You see, we've just got to win that Hunter Craig trophy. As for riding and jumping with Splendor, well, there isn't much difference, really, but, well, but in the pivot spot, Warren seems to handle him better. And he definitely looks better. You see, he's bigger than you are, Jenny, and, and makes a better man for the job because of that. 
Yes, sir. I, I know he does. Well, after this contest with Edson, if we do win the trophy, you'll know what is meant by school spirit. Well, sometimes that's hard to explain what goes on in the heart. And in team play, each man feels that he's responsible, and justly so, for the success or the failure of the team. I know what you mean, sir. All right. Now bring the saddle and bridle with you, and I'll show you where it goes in the saddle room. Yes, sir. A uh, Warren, Morrison, hurry it up. Bring your equipment into the saddle room. Yes, sir. Right in here, Dugan. The third saddle rack in this row is yours. I always see that your saddle is put in the right place. Your bridle will hang on that third peg there. Yes, sir. Come on, cheer up now. Remember, anything I do is done for the good of the team. You've got to get that spirit, Dugan. Yes, sir, I will. Well, well there goes my phone. You're dismissed now. And don't forget, we'll have our first real drill tomorrow. All right, snap it up, men. Yes, sir. Is that your saddle rack, Warren? That's right. That's right next to mine. I'm the third one. I told you Splendor was too good for a plebe, Dugan. You think that remark's in order, Morrison? I don't see why not. No, you wouldn't. But you should understand, if we're going to beat EMI, we've got to have perfect teamwork and harmony. Very true, very true. You know, Dugan, I wasn't trying especially hard to get Splendor's amount. I'd just as soon have any other horse here. I wasn't keen on the pivot position, either. I just got in and rode to the best of my ability and all the tests, and, well... I was picked. Really, I'd much rather see you riding Splendor. Oh, that's okay, huh? I don't care who rides him. Not much you don't. Well, so long, Warren. Goodbye, Dugan. See you tomorrow afternoon. Splendor. Too good for a plebe. There isn't a plebe at Fair Oaks that isn't better than he is. A lot of right he's got to talk. I noticed he wasn't picked to ride Splendor. Hey, Jerry! Hiya, Lee. <laughs> Did I just see you talking to yourself? <laughs> That's bad, Jerry. And they lock people up for doing that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? Something go wrong with the test? I didn't get to ride Splendor. What? Paul Warren was picked for pivot position. Oh, Jerry, really? Well, you don't think I'd kid about a thing like that? Oh, I thought sure you'd get it. I wanted to get out here and see the test, but that special orderly detail took me longer than I thought it would. Sergeant Alden had us each ride Splendor in pivot position and then try turning around slowly in one spot. Say, do you have to go any place in particular right now? No, why? Well, then let's go on over to Max. My treat, huh? Okay. Well, go ahead. What were you saying about the test? Oh, that's all. We each tried out and Warren got it. Hmm. Well, I thought because you knew Splendor so well that you'd be able to ride him better than the other fellows. No, that, that was the trouble. What do you mean that was the trouble? Well, Splendor was sort of excited when I got on him. I guess he was just glad to see me. Mm -hmm. And he acted up and wouldn't do what you wanted him to, is that it? No, I guess it wasn't that either. I, just imagining that. Tell me, what did Sergeant Alden say about it? Well, he said he thought Warren rode a little better in the turns than I did, and that he definitely looked better on Splendor and would look better in pivot position because he was bigger. Oh, I see. Well, is this much, Jerry? It's for the good of the team. I mean, I'm sure there was no partiality shown. Oh, I know. That's what Sergeant Alden said, but... I feel that Splendor is my horse, and I don't see why uh, Jerry, I Jerry, should... look, you have no more claim on Splendor than anyone else. You know that. Oh, I know how you must feel about it. I feel kind of badly, too, that you're not going to ride him, but... Well, you made the team, didn't you? Oh, sure. Well, that's the most important thing. Hmm. The mounted drill team. What's so wonderful about that? Oh, Jerry, don't talk like that. Well, you were all for it before you knew about Splendor. Now, what if Mr. Randall hadn't sent him to Fair Oaks? Yeah, I wish he hadn't now. Why, Jerry, well, you should be grateful. You can see him all the time, and you're on the same team with him. Now, forget it. Get in there with all you've got and ride. You're just as important to the team wherever you are as you would be riding Splendor in pivot position. When's crew practice is going to start? You, you forget crew practice. You've made them out a drill team, and you're going to make good on it. Hey, what's that? I didn't know that there was drill today. Now listen. Oh, yeah. Now, that's the dummy squad over on the drill field. Ted's most likely giving them a workout. The dummy squad? Mm -hmm. Never heard of that before. Well, come on, let's walk over by the hedge and we can watch them. What is the dummy squad? <laughs> that's the dummies that can't learn the drills and formations correctly. Oh. They have a special day, huh? Uh, no. No, but once in a while, Ted Metcalf gets a bunch of them together and tries to get them into shape so they won't be so awkward at regular drill. Funny, I didn't make the dummy squad. Well, I don't know about that. I think you've been doing all right at drill for a new man. Well, there they are. See him? Oh, could that Sergeant Drew's putting them through today? 
They don't look as though they like it very well. They don't like it. It takes time off their free period. Well, look, Ted sees us. Uh-huh. He's coming over. Well, let's see you take that glum look off your face now. You don't want to let Ted see you that way. What's the matter with me? I'm all right. Okay. On your toes now. Nappy salutes are in order. At ease, man. Well, are the tests for the mounted drill team over, Jerry? Yes, sir. Well, how did you make out? Oh, never mind the yes, sir. Oh, I, I made the team. Oh, good. Congratulations. Put it there. Well, you, you don't seem very happy about it. Well, he's a little put out because he isn't going to get to ride Splendor. Why, Jerry? Well, I want to ride him. If I'm going to be on the mounted drill team, I'm going to ride him or nobody else will. Now, wait a minute. You're sulking, Dugan. And that's not typical of a Fair Oaks cadet. You know, it doesn't matter what mount you ride or what position you play on the mounted drill team or in baseball or in football or any of the sports. The only thing that counts is how well you play whatever you're playing. Oh, I know that. Now, wait a minute. Let me finish. I know that man, Mr. Uh, Randall? Yes, Mr. Randall sent that horse on to Fair Oaks with the, well, the hope that you'd get to ride him. But he also made the gift with the understanding that the best man for the horse would get to use him. Now, you're spoiling the spirit of the whole thing, Dugan. Yes, no mad I don't like it. I'm surprised at you. You know, I liked you. I liked you right from the start, but... Well, it's your problem, Dugan. Wait a minute, Ted. There's nothing more to be said. There's only one way for him to redeem himself. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, you're wrong, fella, really. Now, what are you talking about? Jerry, get a hold of yourself. What's the matter with you? Listen, fella, I'm going to speak my mind, too. You know, you're all for traditions around here. You painted the stack the other night with spirit. Real school spirit. But it was fun. You enjoy doing it. Ollie, cut it out. Now, you listen to me, Jerry. You're all for anything if you enjoy doing it. But I'm beginning to think you have to have things your way before you pitch in. Now, that's not the school spirit I've seen around Fair Oaks, Jerry. Lee, Lee, please listen to me. Oh, let's forget it. Come on. Lee, listen. I'll stay on the team and I'll make good. But I'm going to ride Splendor. I've got to ride him. I'm going to ride Splendor. I'm going to ride him or nobody else will. Jerry, take it easy. Come on now. Let's get over to Max. No, you go ahead. I'm going up to the room. I'll see you later, Lee. Okay. If you want it that way. Maybe you know what you're doing. Ted Metcalf called me Dugan when I was at ease. I haven't got the spirit. Maybe I am wrong, but... Well, gee, Splendor is... Well, I wonder if Ted really... Ah, uh, gee, what have I done? <laughs>